this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in your Leica GS receivers. This would be done the same method whether you're using the GS15, the GS16, or the GS18. So normally we would get the firmware from Leica My World, but I've already done that and saved it to the server. So we're going to go to the server, we're going to go to ESC CAD support, going to scroll down to Leica. We're using Captivate. If for some reason you're using SmartWorks, I would save the versions in the SmartWorks folder, but we are using Captivate, so we're gonna to go to Captivate, Firmware, and the version I'm currently on, on my, on my controller and my total station is 4.1, so I will go into this folder. I'm gonna copy my GS15 firmware. As you can see, I have I have the GS18 and GS16 in here as well. So whatever receiver you have, you will copy that firmware to the SD card and systems, and you're going to paste it. All right, once it's loaded on the SD card, we can take the SD card and install it inside the uh, receiver SD slot. So I've taken the SD card out of the laptop and I put it in the SD card slot on the GS receiver. The SD card slot for the GS15 and the GS18 uses standard SD card and the GS16 uses a micro. So make sure you're aware of that prior to copying the firmware over to the card. So once the SD card's in the slot, I've connected via Bluetooth to the GS receiver. I'm gonna hit the function key and the return screen, which basically minimizes Captivate and brings me to the desktop screen. When I'm there, on your desktop, you're going to have an icon that looks like this. This is your web server BT, and you're going to double click that icon. It's gonna connect you to the software inside the receiver. Once connected, we're gonna click the guy with a hard hat load firmware. I'm going to check the firmware is on the in the GS, not on the controller, in the SD card slot in the system folder and I have read and agreed to like his agreement, legal agreements. Once that's ready I'm going to update the software by clicking the green. During this process the receiver will reboot and upon rebooting and connecting your software will be updated to the current version. The current version can be just, uh, viewed here by simply refreshing the screen and viewing the version here or in the same screen we, I showed you, which is there. 